Hello everyone. I know a lot of people have been hearing about this whole WAN 2.1 come for you I native text to video and image to video generator. And I have to say <laughs> for an open source video generator, this thing is pretty damn good. So good that comparably to the Hylio Minimax, which is what I was testing it against, it's right up there with it. I kind of think in some regards, it's actually a bit better than Minimax. One of the th main things is the face. <laughs> is it, there's more distortion on Minimax and like what the face is. And I tried it in different, I tried the live version thing, the 12V01 live, as you know, some of these, and then the other ones, I tried it with the 1201 just to see a difference. And yeah, <laughs> and I use the same prompt. You know, it's the same prompt in here as it is in the, the one in Comfy UI. It's the same prompt. So, you know, this is just, and I've ran it like the same thing multiple times. And one of the major things I notice is that face seems to maintain itself more. I just changed, I also, I only changed this a little bit. I, I changed the output to like MP4 video combined because I felt like it worked better for my machine. I did have outputs that were in both, uh, but I like this better because it gives me also the ability to, you know, edit with other software. But the real cool thing that I really like is that level of consistency in the face that this thing seems to bring out that Minimax doesn't seem to do. In all these other iterations that I have here, I keep really getting like a similar face. As well as, you know, the simple thing. <laughs> it does some crazy stuff with the candy, like it's see through, but I kind of still like it. It blows the hair nicely too in the prompt. So I was like, there's some really cool stuff about all this that, yeah, like this is a highly competitive thing now. And this being open source, I had this, this is a couple of zoom shot things. It, it has a feeling that's like very similar to the Minimax thing. I think this is before I put in the, when I refined the prompt or whatever, but it's pretty impressive. And for like what the prompt says, it does say sip the soda, it doesn't say drink the soda. So it makes kind of sense that like, uh, that you know, some of the ones are like, she's just literally like just barely putting her mouth on it type of thing. But again, I kind of really appreciate what it's doing here with the level of consistency, with the level of even listening to me about the static shock. You know, sometimes it didn't necessarily listen to me with the hair. Uh, and you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to communicate to it effectively, but for the most part, it does everything really good. You know, going back to the prompt itself, You know, there is, a, there is a static camera shot as the woman with pink hair takes a sip of her soda as the wind blows her hair. The blurred people in the background walk along the sidewalk, the entire scene tinted in neon pink lighting. I, d I said the neon pink lighting because the original one, what I did realize is that one of the original ones that I was doing, I think I can't, I think I didn't put it in as MP4. I didn't think I needed to convert it to MP4. But there was one where the image around everything kept changing, like the color of it kept changing. I think it's one of these W web, ah, the web P formats or whatever, which is what I didn't like those so much because again, they don't natively work with like video players and you have to like kind of alter them to work. And I can, I think I can get them to work in uh, Caden live people who have Linux that would use something like this. But I think the problem with this is that it doesn't have frame rate. Like it doesn't record the frame rate. Well, was another reason why I didn't like it. And which is why I switched over. So like it says something about your profile, blah, blah, blah. And then like cancel, don't switch the profile. But it's well, yes, this was what happened. The colors kept changing. Let's see if I can play it well enough. Yeah, the frame rate is really feels up and down which is why I don't like this thing. That was the, one of the first issues I was like, I got to literally tell it like to maintain that pink tent. Uh, even though I do think it's cool because it, it made it seem like you're on like some club Mardi Gras type setting or something like this like really vibrant thing going on in the background. 
Uh, so that's interesting about it. But I think maybe I can put it in the just the browser and it'll actually if I put it in a browser window, like maybe it'll perform even better. Um, was it this one? I think it was this one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see, it's still smooth when it's actually at the frame rate it was supposed to be, but that lighting shift thing was like, what in the world is it doing? Oh no, the first one is this one before I rename the thing. Yeah, so the, the first two, the first two of them had this weird like color shift thing it kept doing. One of the things I've really been trying to work on and I really want to see the video generation try to emulate well is combat. <laughs> Or at least, you know, starting off with something like really simple, like basically swinging the sword. And to be honest, I haven't found any, whether it's closed source or open source, that really is capable of doing this very well. But I mean, this really to me is not that bad. There, it had some bad iterations on the uh, wand, but compared to what we see on Mini Max, I mean, it's you know that just looks ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's, this looks so much, there's, it's swinging the sword, but, you know, this, then you have morphing that always seems to have to be a problem. No matter how many iterations, like, it's never really that satisfying. This seems like something, but it also seems extremely awkward. <laughs> like, he just does this weird stuff beyond what I tell him to do, you know, he's supposed to, uh, there's a static shot camera as the man slices up and down in the air with his katana sword in slow motion as the trees in the background blow in the wind from side to side. You can see a little bit of motion in the trees on some of these, but you know, it almost never even seemed to take that into account. But mostly it's just I, I wanted the sword swiping thing, and you never really get anything that great, no matter what I did. When it came to the local stuff, you know, you get some things that seem good, other things that seem like blech. <laughs> so it's it's not really, I don't think anyone, any of them really is that great at this. Although I, I kind of like the motions that I'm getting from the local, the Juan. A little bit better, but of course it has some bad ones too. <laughs> like this, it almost seems like it falls over, but it also seems like a more believable motion. But then you know you still get the same, and then you get stuff like this that happens. Uh, you still get morphing issues. You know this one is before I told her the katana sword. So it's, in some ways, like I still kind of like I like the local version, which is, again, to say that it's competitive. Like it, it can actually go toe to toe with the stuff that's closed source and you have to pay for. I, I don't think I'm gonna even necessarily bother with Minimax. <laughs> There's no point at this point, especially since I can get, I believe up to 720p on here and then I can probably try to upscale if, a little bit. Still a challenge for either one, but I still think this looks still pretty clean for what it is. I can run it another time, see what happens after that. And here's another one. I actually, this one actually looks pretty good, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, dude, 1-2.1, I, I, <laughs> I can't argue with what I'm seeing about how well it's executing all this stuff. Like, it just, we got a new, I think we got a new champion in town right now. <laughs> this, this is by far like some of the best I've seen just in this type of thing. And again, we still got the thing for Hunan coming on the way, coming with the, I know we have the Sky Reels thing that people have done, but there's, they're making their own specific image to video too. I don't know about Mochi or whether or not that's going to be. I think LTX is pretty much down for the count. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do much to catch up with this, but who knows? You know, that's that's the one thing I have to say right now with all these updates in the AI world, and I'm sure everyone who's been following it knows, you never know what's going to happen next, but we just know they're going to keep trying to innovate this thing.
but you don't know who the next reigning champion is going to be because it might be Juan for a while, but then somebody just comes out of nowhere, you know? Man, <laughs> I'm excited. Really, really excited. I think I'm going to try one more type of thing where I'm going to have like a lot of uh, multiple characters in a specific scene and seeing how that works out too. And so I did another video based upon this image of a static camera shot of a female barmaid who smiles while talking to the man who drinks his beverage sitting across from her at the bar. And it pretty much does everything <laughs> that I wanted it to do. And it's really nice looking. Like it's There's nothing bad about it at all and I went through other iterations of this as well and they're all pretty decent I think there's a few of them where there is a, a little bit of like changes and whatnot I did know yeah some of them she drinks as well I don't think it's yeah there's the clips is not as long as the mini maximum maybe that could have some effect that's a PNG file <laughs> and then I think sometimes they swap things they swap uh, what they're supposed to do and this one yeah he talks instead of her but it still is pretty good you know similar problems that you would have on other things I, I think if, it's, if it was a little bit longer it might uh, perform more on that but the one thing with Minimax though and listen I just did four quick iterations one it still has that same problem of like her face kind of changes it doesn't seem like the same person there's also I noticed that she's a bit more expressive sometimes like this one yeah she's very highly expressive the hands go all over the place whatever it really looks like she's talking so that one's pretty pretty impressive and this one yeah this one's like really expressive really talking he takes a sip so this one I might give Mini Max a little bit of the advantage, but I still think the the biggest my biggest issue I think a lot of times is that it alters the face so much sometimes that you really feel like it's a new person, like it's it, 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 you lose consistency, and remarkably, I really feel like in Juan, I don't I don't I'm not losing that at all. I feel like it's exactly what is expected, and that's a really really cool thing. In that in that regard, I kind of want to give it to Juan just because, in the end, I'm pretty sure that's what we all want is that that consistency, that value of like, it's the same character, and especially since it hasn't really changed position, right? It really feels like the same face, even with these different, you know, with the change of expression. Usually, you would think that unless it's like changing position, like it's morphing, and she turns all the way around that the face wouldn't be different but in this case it, it continues to changes on minimax which i don't like and i do appreciate about this also i know there's going to be other experiments i'm going to do further down the line because we go right because this is the first one i've actually dealt with where we go back to the case sampler for video stuff so seeing what we get when we start to mess around with that more i think will really offer a new insight into this whole video generation process but I gotta say this is this is I can I can see why everybody's so excited about what uh, this has done to the open source world just this alone because I didn't think we were gonna get here this quickly I, I thought it was gonna take a while for the open source video generation especially image to video to get to the point that's comparable to what's out there in the closed source market that you have to pay for. I still think Runway Gen has some issues with, you know, being convincing with actual movement, which is why I wanted to like really test it against Minimax first, because Minimax has a lot more, I think, extravagant movements with the, the type of things that they do. And Runway Gen, though you can keep that quality in Runway Gen, the problem with Runway Gen is that it also feels very stiff a lot of times. I think there's also, I did some, a few iterations. It's not 
of just I think it's one of the first things I did of the walking yeah this was this is actually pretty impressive too because I think they do a pretty good job at walking and this was one of the earlier ones I think I did it was a really low resolution but I just really because I, I did that a really fast test I think on to make that happen but it's really impressive how well it does walking and I know runway Jen is not good at that at all I think it was this one yeah but that walk looks very natural <laughs> this one the door opens up for instead of him actually opening up the door but again I, I really think that that part is really impressive to me because I've really hated that in some of these even the higher quality at least the higher quality resolution video generate generators out there that specifically like runway gen where this is like they can't figure out how to do a, just a clean walking cycle or the, the run cycle looks messed up and it's like that's a that's a deal breaker to me because that just totally breaks you out of it you know and that stride with this you know it's really natural stride that's really good i could deal with the door opening first you know it's you know, especially in this scene, it's, it may, it's the future. The door just pops open, you know, when the guy gets close or he presses a button or whatever, you know. But yeah. Really cool stuff we got here. I, I hope to see other people do a lot more innovations. because <laughs> And as I know that they will, I'll be looking out for that. But I'm going to do my own stuff too. And we'll see what we come up with. Get out there have fun with this AI stuff because it's getting really interesting now. <laughs>